Hey guys, this is just a quick tip on custom drop down boxes. I've been dealing with a lot of drop downs in a lot of projects, and I'm sure you do too. And they suck. I mean, this looks, this is colored black, and it looks okay, but it's way too harsh of a gradient for anything that I'm doing. So, you know, and it does a cool pop, it does the regular browser pop up, which is what I want, but this is styled completely incorrectly, and you can't put your own gradient on it. You have to do one of these. Look, weird looking gradients and then same thing on, on Firefox um, they load completely different like Firefox has this awkward looking button completely no background it just looks terrible so there's lots and lots of jQuery plugins out there that will overwrite the drop downs for you but that's a lot of code have to add more JavaScript have to add a bunch of images usually a sprite for doing hovers and all that good stuff but it's sometimes you just want it to look different that's it so what we've done is we went to Photoshop and we made this little image of a drop down okay and I, I literally took this from uh, Google images you can look for drop down images I'm not gonna tell you where I got it but all I did was make this okay and what I made it the height that was what mattered I made it the height of this so I went, went out and broke out my ruler measured the height of one of these right here and said okay uh, about 17 pixels, 16 or 17 pixels. So I went in here and I made sure that this was about 17 pixels. I didn't really care about the width, all I cared about was the height. Okay, so I made an image that I thought worked. So now let's figure out how we're going to do that. So let's go to some code here and let's go ahead and style it. So uh, the other key feature here, killer feature if you will, is that uh, we need to wrap our select box in a div okay we have to style a div around the select box so let's go ahead and put a div around our select box so that's gonna be uh, so I'm gonna make a new variable called seller wrap equals append and then we're just going to I'm sorry we already made seller wrap right here var seller wrap okay so we're just gonna say uh, seller wrap dot append select and just ignore what I'm doing all I'm doing is wrapping the select in a div okay so now I've added cell wrap and if I refresh nothing's changed but if I look at one of these elements you'll see that it is now wrapped in a div called cell wrap okay so let's style cell wrap so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say dot cell wrap and we're gonna throw in that background image okay which is right here and then we're going to give it that height of 17 pixels. We're going to give it a width of 100% so it stretches. And then we're going to give it a, uh, well, that's fine for now. So save and refresh. And it's there, I promise. But it's still, the select box underneath is still showing through. Still. So we need to get rid of it completely. We have to completely hide the select box. So select all select boxes and take the opacity to zero. They just need to not be there at all. Refresh completely gone here's our image got a couple problems one where's our arrow two where's our text so to fix the first problem we need to tell our background to float to the right okay and that will give us our drop down effect and notice if we still click on these they still work really cool so what do we have to do in order to get the text there we have to make the text um, we have to make the text uh, in some other place because this is gone right now. We have to make it some other place. So what we're going to do is we are going to put a span tag right above the select. Okay? So it's going to so the div is our wrapper and then we're going to have a span tag and then we're going to have our select. All right? So let's do that. So in our javascript, we're just going to add um, this this line here which basically appends the span tag first and then the select after it. So if we refresh that, we can see, and if we, we got our text now, which is great, <clears throat> and then we see we got div, span, select. Note, if you put the span tag after the select, then you actually can't click on the text. So make sure the span tag is before the text. Okay, so now we've got our setup. We just need to restyle this a little bit so that these things look a little bit better. So let's, we need to do some uh, positioning, basically. So we need to style that cell wrap span tag now. So we need that to be position absolute. So we can uh, move it to the very top. Absolute. If we're going to use absolute, the parent, which is cell wrap, has to be position relative. Always. We're going to say top two pixels, 
left you know, 10 pixels maybe. Is that what I put? Yeah, 10 pixels. Okay, then we're going to give it a color just because I need to. Okay, and I'm going to give it a text shadow and a font size just because I feel like it. Okay, now let's take a look at it. And we got a good looking thing here. We got something good going on. If we click it, you can see. Now mine are changing. Uh, yours won't change right away. There's another piece of code that you need to have, and I'll post that. But that piece of code is um, this right here. Okay? Select live. So every time there's a select box, when it changes, we need to get the value. We need to get the display of the option. And then we actually need to go ahead and place that text. So this is the only jQuery you need. That's the only jQuery you need. Not a whole plugin, just this jQuery right here. Okay? Just this jQuery, three pieces of CSS, and just make sure that you wrap your select box in a div with a span, and that's it. That's the whole technique. That's what most of these guys do anyway. And now you can see I've got some really nicely styled drop downs that now that I did those two pieces, all my drop downs are the same, and I can I can be confident that if I want to change it, I can just swap out this this little file here. So super easy way to do drop downs. I highly recommend doing this. The plugins are great. They do a lot of stuff, but then you got to include all these JavaScript files and all these images and all these CSS files. And this is just a super super easy way to do these drop downs just the way you want them.